right. Awam Shalom to the whole elect of the nation of Israel. We're going to start off this uh, class by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. I am honored to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and have taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, peace and mercy to the whole elect are also pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, as well as you little mass, little man of sisters that believe. So uh, in today's class, the lesson is going to be another in the news, and it's going to be based upon Hawaii. If, if, if you've been keeping up with the with this Hawaii thing in the news, mm. it's, it's some serious judgment over there that the Lord is uh, doing, all right? Whether he's doing it directly or... Like whether he's doing it directly himself or he's using Esau to do it, all judgment is of the Lord. Yahweh Shai. Okay. So, um, yeah, man, those guys over there are getting lit up over there, man. The Heavenly Father is is, is judging. And you know, it's funny in Hawaii, a lot of them over there are the northern tribes, too. And so, you know, what's the scripture say about the northern tribes and the idols? And how and how far away they're given to them, you know. So all these things that you see events taking place are the heavenly father's judgment. So let's open up with uh before I get this, uh, I have a clip that I want to play before but before I get it. Yeah, uh, let's open up with uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 40 uh 45 and 7. Because uh, believe it or not, you still have Israelites today, and mainly the Israel, the Christian Israelites, that don't understand the concept of balance when it comes to heaven. Right? The most High God is a power of balance, both of good and evil. Okay, so it says here Isaiah forty-five and seven. I form the light. Oh, let me uh, share my screen. So Isaiah 45 and 7, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. So it's the Heavenly Father who creates good and evil. And he makes things peaceful, but he's also, uh, he also makes things evil, too. All right. So as you see here, it says, Hawaii, a prelude to Babylon's future. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to get this clip going into what's going on over there in Hawaii and uh, and how Hawaii is also being used as a, you know, that was basically uh, in, uh, what's it called, in, uh, Order of Chaos uh, move here in Hawaii, where destruction happened. And right after that, they're setting up, they have a rollout to set up 15 cities all over there in Hawaii. You see, so that's how he saw this devil works, right? He's he says it on his dollar bill, he tells you on his enterprise, which is his uh empire, ultimately, new world order system, order ab chaos, which means order ab chaos, right? So he breaks the chaos to install his draconian order, his evil order. So let me get this clip here, okay. So this here it says truth about the Hawaiian fires, forest fires. I'm just gonna play that as a survivors of you guys can see you can hear it well. Go ahead. The Maui fire warning, and that the everything was suddenly in flames, and many found so quickly that escape was difficult. Survivors of the Maui fire say that they received no warning and that the flames appeared so quickly that escape was difficult. Everything was suddenly in flames and many found refuge in the ocean for hours while their homes burned to the ground and into the same powdery ash footprint we've seen in recent years. So far, it is estimated that nearly a thousand people have died. Locals are worried this includes hundreds of children who were home due to school being canceled that day. Several people are reporting that the government is not only doing little to help, but they are blocking 
blocking local, local efforts to do so, to and they're not allowing local, local donations, donations, donations through. through. And of course, brothers, if uh, peace of come to mind, uh, just let me know and I'll pause it. Oh, brother says it's very bad connection. No. Oh, is that echo? Yes, right. But the video a little bit. Huh? The video, yeah, there was an echo on the video that you were playing. Yeah, was it was it like a heavy echo? Or no? And that they are blocking life-saving medicine because it isn't federally approved. Denying people access to bring in just supplies for people to live. Is it better now? But yeah. Okay, con, con, con. The government withholding every single one of our donations because we are not a part of FEMA and Red Cross. So none of this is eligible. Which, for you know, FEMA and Red Cross, all that is a part of the beast system. Mm -hmm. right? We know what the scriptures say in Revelation 13 and uh, 16. That at one point, this devil is going to create a lot of uh, chaos. And really, it's the Heavenly Father that's using this devil to do it. All right, to stir up this chaos, which is going to be Jacob's trouble. But out of that, it's going to come what? The the M-A-R-K, the chip, all right? The see him. And that's what he's going to use to basically deceive the, the majority of the world in taking it. All right? Um, can you go to, go to Malachi 3 and 4? Because this man mentioned Swift, and he doesn't understand what he's saying. He doesn't understand it, man. But he has to say the word. Swift judgment. So if you could go, brother, if you don't have anything, go to Malachi chapter 3, right, and start at verse 4. Okay, because the purifier is coming. Um, Malachi chapter 3, verse 4, it reads, Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord Yahweh as in the days of old and as in former years. All right. So we know that this is a bearing to the message uh, in regards to Abba Bivins. And this, this precept is prophetic right down into our time. And the Lord is doing that behind the scenes, getting Judah and Jerusalem, okay, which is a representation we know of the north and southern kingdom. Continue, brother. God. Uh, verse five it says, "And I will, and I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorceries." And that's funny that it says sorceries because when we get into the like later part, the latter part of the video, you're gonna find that certain particular uh, uh, people have bought acres of land in Hawaii. And the people that, you know, the WEF work with, okay, some of the, one of them, and then, you know, the other one is just a demon. But, you know, when they buy acres of land, especially those in the entertainment business, you know, they use that area for all the wickedness that they do, right? And that's that sorceries, man. So, and it says, and again, it's like, and against the adulterers and against false swearers. And against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and feed not me, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Yeah, namely, we know that's namely speaking to actually uh, uh, the nation, but namely, excuse me, um, the election. Okay. The election of Israel. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, for now. Yeah. Tell me why. I have no freaking clue. The people of Maui are on their own for now. And aside from the federal government's bureaucratic failure, they have good reason to be suspicious. Just like what we saw five years ago in Paradise, California, there was nothing normal about these fires. Within a day of burning, it was like a bomb went off. When you see the full, the full extent of the destruction of China, it will shock you. It does appear 
like a bomb and fire went off, if I may. And all of those buildings virtually are going to have to be rebuilt. It will be a new Lahaina. Local residents and have this, been reporting. You know, like I said earlier in the, in the lesson, you know, the Lord can use Esau to do these things because he's the master deceptive, deceiver. Right? Esau, uh, that's what the uh, uh, Satan means. Satan means adversary, but the devil, devil means deceiver. Mm -hmm. right? And you got terms like psyops, right? And there's a lot of that going on. Esau uses a lot of psyops, all right, to basically facilitate his wickedness. It's all just to bring about more wickedness on the earth and to push towards that, you know, uh, enterprise of his, the New World Order system. Bring bright flashes of light. One was captured by a home security camera that appears to have been the start of the Olinda fire. Many people are saying that it was directed energy weapons. We know that most major governments already have them. And during the California fires, online weather maps recorded what looks like a laser from above, striking an area just before it bursts into flames. In his research, Dennis Mills discovered that the incendiary aluminum and barium nanodust from chemtrails is most likely fueling the ferocity of today's so-called super wildfires. And on the day before the Maui fires broke out, locals were reporting a heavy overcast from chemtrailing that they'd never seen before. Once you dig deep enough, you realize they actually... All right, so I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit. And um, I want to actually bring this up real quick before I go, go on to the video. Let's go to... And you know, um, aside from what aside from what Esau is doing in terms of burning that place, man, th you know, this is uh, just a prelude, like the title says, to uh, what's going to happen over here in Babylon. All right, starting with America, America, and uh, Canada. Canada is going to be definitely uh, involved as well, man. So. And this is going to be the height of Jacob's trouble. A lot of things are going to be happening. And you know what? At that time, it's just going to be you and what you believe in and what you based upon and based upon what you know. OK, and uh, that's why it's very, very, very important to receive this truth and basically put up a spiritual, uh, a spiritual saving, put up a spiritual saving account, bank account. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to get rough, man. The Lord's going to come down real serious. So this is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 1, and I'm just going to read verse 25 down to uh, 32. It says, Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Whosoever shall call upon me, I will not hear you, for ye have defiled your hands with blood. And, you know, a lot of our people are murderers, man. Okay? They murder each other, you know, and then and they all do it for, for the almighty dollar. Mm -hmm. That's their God, all right, in this society. And that's why you can see a lot of these rappers, a lot of these so-called role models of the earth, okay, which prim primarily are all Jake are going to be taking the sea hit, right? Can hoax, uh, can joke sing the, whole, the you know, majority of the world be taking the same thing. And then you're going to have some of these Israelite leaders, man. They're going to have a decision to make. And Apostle Tahar said that a couple of times, right? It's either they're going to have to say you can take it or that GMS was right the whole time about the sea hit, you know? So it goes on to say, when, whensoever you shall call upon me, I will not hear you, for you have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Ye have not as okay, ye have not as it were forsaken me, but your own selves, saith the Lord Yahweh. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, Yahweh Shai, have I not prayed you as a father, his sons? As a mother, her daughters, and a nurse, her young babes. Yeah, because basically the Lord 
All right. When you go into our history, what would the Lord do? He would constantly save us out of the hands of the heathen. All right. And uh, he led us out of uh, Egypt in the wilderness, fed us. Even in the scriptures, it says that uh, the clothes that we wore didn't, didn't even um, like decay. They didn't decay all the 40 years that we were in there. So the Lord basically took care of us. But um, because of that uh, rebellious nature within Israel, we kept uh, serving other idols. Okay. And partaking with heathens. So we're coming to a time where Jake is in is heavy laden idol worshiping right now, man. And uh, the Lord has his prophets out there prophesying, all right, for the elect to receive it. Because once the, the doors are shut, just like in the time of Noah, mm -hmm. that destruction is going to come within a matter of seconds, man. Because the scriptures say uh, sudden destruction. Oh, sudden destruction shall befall them. So it says here, um, verse 29, that ye would be my people and I should be your power, that ye would be my children and I should be your father. I gathered you together as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings. Now, what shall I do unto you? I will cast you out from my face. When you offer, when you offer unto me, I will turn my face from you. You... For your solemn feast days, right? And you know, uh, you know, we already know how a lot of these different Israelites get down high holy days, man. Right? Complete wickedness, you know, smoking weed, having rap battles, or doing all kind of wickedness on the high holy days. So the Lord is, you know, the angels are taking account of all these things. All right, and the all the judgment is being set up. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble, man. It's for, it's for the Lord's children, the Lord's people. It says, for your solemn feast days, your new moons and your circumcisions have I forsaken. I set unto you my, I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, whom ye have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces. Blood I will require of your hand, saith the Lord Yahweh. Right, and the scriptures tell us in Revelations that um, right John saw uh, them that were beheaded for the truth. Right, and so a lot of a lot of the prophets are going to be, you know, they're they're going to be ratted out by their own people. All right, and and that's how Israel has always gotten down with the prophets, and that's why this Jacob's trouble is going to be the final punishment, and it, that and and if it's going to be the final punishment, you can just imagine how catastrophic it's going to be, man. Okay, so it says, Thus saith the Lord Almighty, like, Thus saith the Almighty Lord, Yahweh, your, houses, your house is desolate, I will cast you out, and the wind doeth stubble, as the wind doeth stubble. Right, and that's basically the missiles, man, they're going to exactly, they're going to do exactly that. All right, make, turn everything into dust. A thousand acres of land in Hawaii, including a Ninfri who has bought over Eckerberg, who owns more respect for local cultures to the mainland outsider capital of the kingdom of Hawaii. Laida is considered. You can see that, man, completely. This is not even nothing, but what's going to happen with uh, America is going to be complete desert. So just imagine this as a desert, complete desert, man, and all kind of foul animals are going to be uh, inhabiting that, that land. Mateen. La Haina is considered to be a historic and sacred land. It was the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii before it was taken by the United States. It's been occupied by native Hawaiians ever since, who are defiantly opposed to the mainland outsiders who have been buying up land with no respect for local culture. Not just BlackRock and Vanguard, but billionaires like... You know, you know if you understand about BlackRock Black and Vanguard, they're run, they're run by uh, the Echo Back Brothers. A little... Not too heavy, a slight one. A slight one, nothing too crazy, eh? No, nothing too crazy. Okay, okay. Um, mm -hmm. 
But uh, like I was saying, if you know anything about BlackRock and Vanguard, man, they run a lot of the um, the elites are behind those companies, man. Those industries. Mm-hmm. Mark Zuckerberg, who owns more land on Kauai yeah. than what the government of Kauai. Look at the word. Machiavellism. Okay. M A C H I A V E L L A I N N I S M. Right there, Yeah. The definition. Right. So this is psychology. Machiavellianism psychology. Machiavellianism. Yeah, Machiavellianism psychology. So it says, uh, in the field of personality psychology, Machiavellianism is a personality trait centered on multiple uh, multiple tentiveness, emotional coldness, and indifference to morality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's Lisa, right? Uh, With high level of self-interest, psychologists uh, Richard Christie and Florence Genus named the trait after Nico Machiavelli. Um, and then... I'll keep reading. It says, as they use, edit, and and trans translate statements inspired by his work to study vari- vari- variations in human behavior, and that's what Esau gets into, man. Uh-huh. You, know, you look at uh, what is it? What, what's it called? Uh, after World War II, they they had you had Project pa- Paperclip, and yeah. out of Project Paperclip uh, came uh, MK Ultra, mm-hmm. right? And you know what you know Esau was doing with all that. Uh, this is scale personality survey becomes a standard self-assessment tool to scale the Machiavellianism construct. Those who score high on the scale, so they even have a scale on it. <laughs> so, so, so basically, in a layman's term, it's it's it's, it's kin to all um, that Hegelian, Hegelian dialectic, right? Right? Mm-hmm. But it's based on cunningness. And narcissism, right? Mm-hmm. Because Esau wanted that land, right? He caused this fire because we know he's on the sword. And if you look up a thing called DEW, D E W is an acronym for direct energy weapon. Exactly. And that's what he was bringing out. Yep. Con. Yep. Right? So, so uh, he uses this Machiavellianism to gain power through cunningness. So basically, he's going back and light a fire, but around the front, he's selling water. I have the word here. Do, if you want it. Go ahead. You want it? You got it. Yeah, all right. It says, uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, water vapor deposited from the atmosphere by condensation, especially during the night. So, so, okay. so what I want to be do, do energy weapon, not do as in what you call up, do energy weapon made by dark water. Oh, okay. So, so it's an acronym, D-E-W um, weapon. Yeah, it says right here, you see direct energy. Looking mark direct energy weapon D E W direct mm-hmm. energy weapon do yes <laughs> yeah so wow. direct okay, they can look that up mm-hmm. yeah they can look that up it won't yeah I, it's not giving me anything other than just the simple example of it. okay so it, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's we can look that up where mm-hmm. it's brought up by a lady named um, De- Deborah Tavares. And she spoke about silent weapons for quiet wars. Okay, so that knowledge was given to Isa via the Most High Yahweh Shai. Okay, which brings me to Psalms sixty-four. I'm already there for you, brother. Awesome, awesome. That's spirit. Right. Because it pertains and, and, and it it draws out. out and pulls back this crowd of mystery, right? You know when you watch Scooby Doo. 
at the end, you always have that guy, you know, who was terrorizing, you know, the, the whole the whole cartoon and the, the police. I say, what was Mr. So and So? And they pointed him and he goes, hey, what if it is meddling, you know, what if it is meddling Israelites, you know, <laughs> because we're the one that's actually the, the real truthers here. Mm-hmm. You know? And you have Wild E, Wild E Coyote, you know, always on blow things up. You know, that, that, that Wild Roadrunner, road yeah. you know, Wild E. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's literally him, man. Mm-hmm. Right? But um, mm-hmm. start a fire, brother. Okay. Psalm 64 and 5, they encouraged themselves in an the evil matter. So so in, in, their, in their meetings, because this was this was a well-followed plan, right? Because it's been a while now since they've been um, have, have covered just eyes as it pertains to the landmass. Okay. Right. Yeah. Because the they want they want to um, bring forth some 15-minute city. Come yeah. And, and, and uh, you know, they had the eyes on, on the price, so to speak. So, so as it goes into, as the increase it goes into, it will bring forth more light, right? What was once shrouded? Keep reading. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, "Who shall see them?" That's right. So, so the heavenly Father is who shall see them because we, have, we know you're the angels, right? By the way, the watchers, okay, revealing things, you know, pointing things out. And put the spirit on like the, the islanders right? because um, the elder post um, a meme, a picture showing people because everyone that has a cell phone now, so everything that happens now, someone's gonna get a picture of it. Mm-hmm. Different different um, countries, right, or different parts of America, with people saying, "Hey, well, what is that like coming from the heavens?" You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's been now exposed, right? But this man has an agenda to bring forth, so he doesn't care anymore. Because, what? He knows his time is short. Right. Read it. Point in six here. Con. It says they search out iniquities. So wickedness, is sin, right? right. But it is sin to, 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 to be covetous over someone's land. land. Right. Mm-hmm. That land was given to you. You know, that was taken by force and through violence and blood. Okay. Yep. And they claim that because that was given to, to, uh, to the Japhites. Right. That's, that, that's Japheth's land. Right. Okay? Right. And uh, if I may add too, brother, um, you know, Esau also, you know, he, he searches out these ancient uh, kingdoms and basically searches out all their gods too, you know, and, and the ideologies of these ancient kingdoms. That's why he's always sending like scholars and archaeologists to various uh, places of uh, ancient worlds and searching out all the empires and going into all the, 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 the stories and libraries and whatever they got left over there, and he's basically amalgamating all those gods into his uh, New World Order. Because basically that New World Order is like a, it's like a liberty from the shackles of wisdom, the law of wisdom. You know, letting go of your 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 morals and sins and giving into the flesh completely to the point where he's just going to control you. Uh, it goes on to say, they accomplish a diligent search so that that um, what, what what was brought forth what we're, what we're going into right now that was a diligent search man that's right that was a lot of meetings a lot of emails being sent back and forth mm-hmm. right? that's <laughs> true <laughs> because that's how easy it gets down yeah send me an email you know put an email you know that, that's how that's how he, that's how he gets down man right and then later on in here um, we found such and such laptop at a Starbucks right and, and, and it's gonna be all there. And yes. no one's gonna, gonna be brought gonna be brought to justice. Why? Because the people who are in power right now are the wicked. Mm-hmm. So everything that you what would seem to be normal is actually an illusion. It's right. an illusion for you to think tomorrow when you're going to work, you should get there safe. Listen, man, about the earth is being run by the hands of the wicked. Okay? Mm-hmm. So everything you do, you should do it with, 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 with shaking these men and you know, man, I want to make it work, right? Only faith is what keeps us going and gives us comfort. Because everybody else outside the truth should be clarified, man. Right? Because yeah. you have a wild E on the loose. Yeah. Right? You read? Right. No, Kanye. Um, I got to preach about I'm going to finish it off then. Yeah. Preach it after. Just to back you up. So this says here, Psalm 64 and 6, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. That's right. So if it wasn't for the Lord, right, 
pointing the finger at this man. You think that's actually what he says happened? Happened, right? But they're saying it started from a hurricane, and a hurricane missed where we're supposed to touch down on, and a mm -hmm. fire starts. Man, how can a fire start from a hurricane on the land that you wanted? <laughs> yeah. and you know, it's funny to us because you know the Lord is uh, how about you, Mel Shai, via the Holy Spirit as in has endowed us with wisdom, the eyes to see, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this the, man, uh, the Lord used Esau to basically deceive the whole world in forgetting the Heavenly Father, the true power of Israel. Because in the ancient world, you know, all nations knew of the power of Israel, the God of Israel, because that Egypt exodus was, was major. But according to prophecy, the Lord gave him the power Right, he basically gave him the earth, and uh, he basically deceived the whole earth. So it says here, um, this is Re Revelation twenty, and uh, I'll start at two. It says, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, he saw Edom and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Right, and that's during the dark ages. And cast him into the bottomless pit, right, which is Europe, and shut up and shut him up and set a seal upon him yeah, yeah. that he should deceive the nations no more. Yeah. Because what was he doing before he was sealed up? He was deceiving the nations as who? As the Romans, mm -hmm. as the Greeks, mm -hmm. right? So, hey, the Greeks and the Romans, this, this uh, Western. Uh, civilization that we are part of is based upon those two empires, man. The, that's why Esau says civilization starts at the Greeks. Well, really, his civilization started at the Greeks. Okay? It says that he should deceive the nations no more till a thousand years should be fulfilled. And that a thousand years were fulfilled, you know, roughly around 1325 is when we started declining from uh, rulership, basically. And then this man, this devil started coming up up until like the climax, the peak, which is the 1500s. And from there up until now, man, it's been, it's been deception upon deception upon deception upon deception. Okay. It says, uh, till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. And after that, it must be loosed a little season. And that's just, that's where we're in right now. We're in that time. We're at the tail end of this little season because he's, he's living on board time. Mm -hmm. time. Okay, so let me play the rest of this clip just a little bit left. Why owns and over Winfrey, who has bought over a thousand acres of land in Hawaii, you know, including she's a, a new. She's a, she's a heavy witch, a heavy, heavy witch. So if she's buying acres of land in Hawaii, you already know what she's getting ready to do, man. Mm -hmm. And her, 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 her house. Oh, the family. Yeah, con. <sighs> Yo, it's funny you say that because he's going to get into some of the stuff that was still standing after the so-called fire. 870 acres in Maui she just bought this spring. In 2018, the Paradise Wildfires broke out exactly where the United Nations have plans to somehow make off limits to humans. And that same year... A report on wildfire prevention was published that was focused on the exact same areas in Maui where the fire just broke out. All the historic downtown, all of it is demolished and all the, the houses gone. But those commercial big box stores are still there. Hawaii Governor Josh Green yeah, see, has been just said, right? so. putting the World Economic Forum's <coughs> Great Reset Agenda ahead of Hawaiian interests. Just weeks before the fire, he unveiled an emergency proclamation on housing that eliminates the traditional land use commission, allowing the government more leeway to build as they see fit, such as building 15 minute smart cities run by artificial intelligence, just like they've been planning to do in Hawaii for years. At some point, I will make a major donation after all of the smoke and ashes have settled here and we figure out what the rebuilding is going to look like. This is going to be a, a long and difficult process. You're going to see a lot of Phoenix stories rising from the ashes here. Reporting for InfoWars. See, and that's what they do. <clears throat> they'll, tell you, they'll tell you right to your face that this is what they're going to do. 
because guess what? Our people play as priests and prophets on the left-hand side, right? And Esau basically uses them, all right, as uh, pawns, okay, to, to, to help build up really his NWO, his New World Order. I'm going to get a quick precept because this, this is not a new concept, all right? When you understand history and you read the scriptures, you see that this happened before during the Greeks, okay? Really, you can go all the way back to uh, the Tower of Babel. All right, it was the same concept as today that uh, they're doing today. So this is con, absolutely. So okay, so I'm gonna start at. Uh, Okay, I'll start at 10. So this is uh, 1 Maccabees 10, and it's uh, 1 Maccabees 1 and 10. And there came out of the, uh, out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surname Epiphanes, which is Antiochus the fourth, the fourth, son of Antiochus the king. He had been a hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the 130th and 7th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. And it says, in those days went there out of Israel wicked men, and you know women too. Okay? They just have to mention the women because it starts with the man. Who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. And that's basically what all these Israelites have done, have made a covenant with Esau and basically sold their soul to Satan. Okay, so now they're, they're, they are hand and foot. It says they're hand and foot with Esau in developing this uh, New World Order system. Okay? Which is uh, his beast system. And make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us and, and uh, you know, make no mistake, this goes all the way down even to uh, Israel. And when I say Israel, I mean um, the Jakes that know that they're Israelites. All these various Israelite camps, some of them have already took in the bag and are down with Esau and really are just set up. They're like uh, agents. That's what the scripture called them. Agents, man. Crept unaware. It says that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we, we have had much sorrow. So basically, you know, the Lord has punished Israel. And that's why, you know, the majority of Israel lives in ghettos. They're impoverished. All right, they, they go through, they basically, we get the worst of every situation, but that's because we sinned, okay? And so, basically, the Lord has set the stage for two-thirds of Israel to get heavy judgment in Jacob's trouble, man, because the only Israelites that are going to uh, make it through Jacob's trouble are the whole full left of the nation of Israel. So, that's it on that, brother. Uh, it's Job 9, 24, it pertains to Esau, and Micah 2 and 2. Yeah. Just wanted to read um, the first part of the precept of Job 9 24 and jump to Micah 2 and 2. Mm -hmm. Job 9 and 24, it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, so let's right. go so, um, Micah 2 and 2. Mm -hmm. um, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Covered fields. So Micah 2 and 2. And they cover fields and so the take wicked that the earth was given to. Mm -hmm. right. fields. Fields. Mm -hmm. right. right. And take them by violence. That's right, man. Through robbery, right? Mm -hmm. Through murder. Because they're saying so far they've recovered 99 bodies, right? But the people who are, who are on the ground that live there saying it's, it's over a thousand men. Con. A lot of people that are missing. Con. Okay. Reading. It says, uh, and the houses, and take them away so that. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. That's right, man. So now they want to be the new islander because they believe that when they rebuild, okay, they're going to claim that land. Because I think Hawaii is already a part of one of the states of America, right? Yeah, but, they, they, re, yeah they got it back, yeah. yeah. Gone, right? And it really has yeah. nothing to do with them. Gone. Like Guam is also uh, one of um, American-owned Guam. When, they, when, they, when they're like, Moabites are Ammonites, man. Right. Like the real lineage. 
right? The people of Guam, I think, they're like like Asians looking people, right? Um, so 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 this is this is how Esau set up, man. Esau set up to be the thief, but he comes in in, in the guise of a peaceful, right? A peaceful man, a peaceful nation. He's about rebellion. Biden's about to do anything in the federal level to help you rebuild. Nigga, you did it, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're you get a prison like a valley right there. You know? <laughs> you know with, with, with the Hegelian dialectic. Right? Remember he says he's, he's focused as a lamb? Yeah. Right? So, 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 so the character must have characteristics. And this is how we know uh, who Esau is, the devil. Right? That's another level. Time. Um, brother, if you could go back to that Maccabees and just read verse, uh, <laughs> just for the record for those at home. I know you broke it down already, man, but mm -hmm. it's so solemn because this woman talked about coming arising from the ashes, but this is the crime of our people, and the brother just mentioned it, man. Mm -hmm. If you could just read verse 12 and 13 of that first Maccabees uh, 10, mm -hmm. right, just for the record, and that's it, because um, we know the rest goes into the whole aspect of what is going on today. And what went on back then as well in our history. Go ahead. Uh, it says, or this is First Maccabees chapter one, verse twelve. So this device pleased them well. Gone. So they basically, it was better for them to sell themselves out. Yeah, they they made that nasty covenant, right, with the heathen heathens. <laughs> they got much sorrow, right? But it pleased them well. And then it goes on to say, go ahead, brother, the point. Verse 13, it says, then certain of the people who are so forward there herein. Hey, we're coming, we're going to come up from the ashes of this. Uh, mm -hmm. To the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Mm -hmm. that, that's the that's point on that. <laughs> Kind of. Right, but that's uh, the word there really is, is forward, okay? And uh, we, we see it time after time that type of sorcery from our people. Kind of. okay. well, after that word device there, it also going, uh, it's a synonym for intent, right? right. Desire. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. so the brother um, on the comment board, um, Mayan, from the scripture, Corinthians 2 11 says, We're going to ignorant to Satan's devices. Mm -hmm. Right, so his his intent, right, mm -hmm. right, his plans. But remember, it was given to him to take peace from the earth, mm -hmm. right, and to deceive all the nations. So we know that, okay, through the scriptures, right, looking in through like a, a, a basically a twenty twenty vision, mm -hmm. right. So so the Bible, you know, is referred to as a sword, right, in a mm -hmm. spiritual sense. And I know you guys, I'm, I'm a cartoon fanatic, man. You know, I remember, I remember. Um, Thundercats, man, pull out a sword of, of, of omens. Yep. <laughs> and give him sight beyond sight. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so, so this is what we're using right now in the spiritual sense. You know, we're seeing this man and exposing him, right? And all his wicked devices, his intentions. Never to bring, to, to, to be good, but to be just. That's not his law. Gone. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Master, can I bring this out once you're done? The back of Kind. I'm going to read this one real quick. This is from uh, the uh, Toronto Hopeful Elect. And it says, uh, I, think, I think this is the brother uh, Habadia. And it says, Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh. Right? Because what did, he, what did these uh, elites do? They basically channel and conjure up the demons, high-level demons on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. All right, and Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, being the master deceiver that the Lord created. God. Okay, uh, he's deceiving Esau. He's deceiving his own children, basically. Because that's, that's how the devil gets down, man. At the end of the day, a serpent is still a serpent. That's right. right? So right. it says, he's um, deep to hide their own counsel from the Lord, and these devils don't. And these devils think that the Heavenly Father is unaware of them conjuring up the left-hand side demons as if they're not getting their orders from the Heavenly Father. You know? And it says, and their works are in the, in the dark, and, and that's um, literal and metaphorical, too, because they do a lot of uh, 
um, what's it called, Sub- subliminal messages, right, through a lot of these TV shows and movies, like that whole trail derailment in uh, East Palestine, there was a whole uh, movie on it before it actually happened, which was called mm-hmm. White Noise, mm-hmm. right? So that would be like a uh, an example of them doing their works in the dark because it's like a hidden message, metaphorically. But they literally do a lot of wickedness and, and sacrifices in the dark as well, okay? Mm-hmm. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? And that just goes into their pride. They basically think that they're going to get away with everything that they're doing. That's right. right? And that's going to be, that's, that's the, the deception of their pride, man. The, the heart of thy, the, the pride of thy heart has deceived thee. Mm-hmm. Go, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Ashar. That's oh, yeah. Three, three and one. Where? I said 33 and one. Uh, yeah, and it, yeah, go ahead. What to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and didst treacherously, and did and did still not treacherously, but thee, when thou shouldst be spoiled, spoiled, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou should make an end, deal treacherously, and it should deal treacherously with thee. And verse 2 says, O Lord Yahweh, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee without the army every morning for salvation also in the time of trouble. Because we are in the time of trouble. Right? And as, as we see, we see things are speeding up. You and Nisa is creating all the chaos. Right? Mm-hmm. God, that's it on that act? No, that was it on that um, I'm just going to finish off uh, this is going to be my last preset I'm just going to finish off with, uh, let's go to second Ezra So this is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 3, verse 10, and it says, And it came to pass in every one of them, as death as was to Adam, so was the flood to these. Mm -hmm. Uh, What was that? What does that mean? That basically means the flood back in the ancient world was a uh, a form of judgment. It was the Heavenly Father's judgment because of all the wickedness that was taking place. Mm -hmm. So Peter talked about how this time around, the Lord is going to send fire instead of water. And that's a deeper cleansing agent, man. Okay. And it says, nevertheless, one of them, nevertheless, one of them thou left, namely Noah, with his household, of whom came all right men, and it happened that when they, when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply, and had gotten themselves many children, and were a great people, they began again to be more ungodly than the first. Now, when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man among them whose name was Abraham. So he basically goes into the history. And goes all the way down into all the wickedness that partaked all the way up until now. Mm-hmm. But uh, Slack, go ahead, bro. No, yeah, you brought the name, the name Noah yeah, there. Yeah, it's basically is a comfort, right? When you go there, Noah, so now the scripture now is acting in the stead of Noah that brings the righteous, right? Um, comfort as into what's going to happen, and you're hoping that you know 
the, these videos will, 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 will make in their efforts to be considered of the Lord, right? As a sacrifice. Come on. So, 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 so we can see as Noah, and, and, and basically what we're doing Noah's doing. You think Noah was, was out here like this, this building? He was calling us them and prophesying, right? But they didn't understand what rain was. You know, I, I, you know what the hell is a rain, man? Like, you know, it's in the ICB and missiles. Mm -hmm. you know, what are you guys talking about? They can't do that. You know, yeah. or everyone's going to die, not knowing that the Lord has a certain yeah. hand to deserve to be exempted. Yeah. Right? And the families, right? And friends, because it's friends of the prophets. Okay. So they, 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 they knew what to do was. Come. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. So that was a literal dude that you pulled up in the spring. You brought over the dude. <laughs> literal dude. Yeah, literal dude. See, see, I come, come back around. Yeah, see, that's the truth, brother. Wow. Oh, crazy. Uh, yeah. Let me go here. This is 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 26. It says, As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. And this is based on the law talking to Israel, right? Because that number is 100, starts with 144,000, and then, you know, you got that large multitude. Mm -hmm. And it says, so this this event, this this catastrophic event that the Lord is bringing, he's going to preserve the elect all the way through it, man. And it says, be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, Oh, uh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Mm -hmm. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord Yahweh. Right, because starting from Jacob's trouble, when mm -hmm. we hit the climax, that's basically the beginning of the kingdom of heaven, man. The Lord is going to start moving in ways for the whole full elect all the way up until... Um, the beaming up of the chariots, where their right. bodies will be changed, and then we're going to administer, you know, Yahweh Ratzah of the whole full elect. We're going to be administering that righteous judgment upon the whole earth. Okay, so they're not going to be able to do anything against us because the Heavenly Father is going to be completely with the whole full elect all the way through, man. So it says, My hands shall cover thee, and so that thy children shall not see hell. Mm -hmm. Be joyful, oh. Thou mother that with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. Yeah, can you have, you know, uh, we always say that you have the, the, well, Paul said you have the elect ladies, right, with, that are also a part of the whole full elect. And then it says, remember thy children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth and show mercy unto them. Right, because... They that died in Yahushai in this ministry are going to be risen up first. For mm -hmm. I am merciful, saith the Lord Yahweh Almighty. Embrace thy children until I come and show mercy unto them. For my wells run over and my grace shall not uh, fail. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, when you look at it, Yahushai is a prototype of the Heavenly Father. And the hopeful elect, starting with 144,000, are the prototype of Yahushai. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's why the scripture referred to when you read in Isaiah it said if the Lord didn't leave a saw a small remnant unto Israel, the whole nation would have been completely destroyed, man, for all our wickedness. You know, and that really starts going all the way back to uh Yahweh Shai. And when you go even deeper into it, you know, that we know that was Solomon and we know that was Adam as well. And, um, uh, it goes all back to the garden when he said, Let's make men in our image, right? So, so as representative, right? In the spirit of the child. And it's touching the, the mother right there. That would be Israel. Um, in other words, Israel is Jerusalem. Yep. Right? So, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Yep. Right? That's right. So, um, can yep. you have 1 Thessalonians 4 18? Are you, are you done with that? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, first Thessalonians um four and eighteen because he took us some some nice precepts there. Right. And if the Lord is dealing with you, it, it kind of eases your mind, right? And, and and brings us comfort. That's right. Right. And that's just why we call the hopeful elect. Because we're hoping that we're those men that was predestined, 
uh, in other words, our destiny was to be um, exempted from the Lord's indignation. That's right. That's right. So, right as it's written right here, it says, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Uh, uh, <laughs> and that's the word of the Father, man. You know, that, that, that's a comfort spirit, you know, that, that was sent by, by the Heavenly Father through His Son, right? That's right. And there's a Bible known as a comforter. The Spirit is, it comforts me, man. And, and if you're in the truth, yeah. right? It brings you some kind of calm and, and basically a lax spirit. Yeah. As it to, you know? Yeah. You can, you can deal with yeah. That's right, man. Yeah, because you know what? I, I was meditating on this for a couple of days. And it's like, you know, if the Holy Spirit is on you, you're going to be active in the spirit. And you're going to be looking to be active in the spirit. And you can see the destruction in your mind. Mm -hmm. you're moved you're moved with like terror you're completely terrified mm -hmm. right that's how Moses or that's how uh, Noah was Noah God. yeah you know what I mean he was completely terrified when he saw that vision God. you know and you know you know that spirit is going out there where you know Satan's trying to work on on certain men to not be you know facilitating this truth mm -hmm. right it's supposed to be a living a living water so mm -hmm. can you imagine going to Jacob's trouble? Knowing that you haven't put in any works in for the last mm -hmm. month, two months, weeks, mm -hmm. you're gonna completely bug out. Mm -hmm. Because where is your faith gonna stand on? James mm -hmm. told us already. If you have faith, let's see your works. So your faith, mm -hmm. the faith of the hopeful elect, is gonna stand upon their works, man. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be meshed. It's gonna be mesh, meshed together with the fear of the Lord, all in one, man. And that quick piece up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hebrews yeah. eleven and seven. Because you know you keep saying the word um, move and, and faith and you know Con. and Noah, mm -hmm. so Con, right. so. Con, yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Hebrews eleven and seven. By Con. faith, Noah, being warned of Yahweh of things not seen as yet. So, which means he, he, he had a wisdom, right? He was given the fear because remember, fear is our treasure. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know that the person who always bring out um, Isaiah 33 and 6 about wisdom and stability? That's right. Exactly. You know, we, don't, we, we never like shine the light on the last part of it as much as we do the first part. Because fear is a treasure. To so treasure something that sounds sacred. Right? And it's, not, it's not readily exposed. You know, like that's how someone see you walking, you know, you, you know whatever you do in the world, they don't yeah. see you as a faithful man. They, they think you're one of them. Yeah. Not knowing you were given that, 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 that fear of the Lord, that wisdom, man, right? To know, hey, the Lord can kill you, man, and the Lord is going to kill you. Right? Yeah. So, so we have that fear, right? and we treasure it. That's right. Okay? Yep. And uh, it says here, with fear prepared an ark to the saving of his house. So this video is basically, is basically like an ark. Because it's made for the whole elect, as Noah's family was in that time, the elect, right? That was predestined because it wasn't by fluke or, or, or something. It, was, it wasn't a brand new idea. Yeah, so it was, it was, it was the spirit that his family, his son, is going gonna, is gonna to come through and mm -hmm. cross over. Mm -hmm. right, so the Lord is uh, as, as, as predestined a certain man, someone for over a thousand, and their family, right? And uh, one third is going to come through, man. That's right. Right? It says, by the which he commended the world. Condemned. Right? Like, right? like Whenever condemned. we're condemned there? Whenever we're condemned? Con. Right, so, so, no, it wasn't a friend to the world, man. It was it was not buddy buddy with everybody. Right? Like, we are, we're not in buddy buddy with everybody. Like, people see us in the world and say, well, hey, why are y'all so pissed off, man? Right? Bro, I, I have, like, like permanent lines on in, in my face. I keep checking my face in the mirror. <laughs> you know, all the time, you know. Because <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. last question in the world, man. My mom was, was like, you know, on it. My mind mm -hmm. always like, you know. Yeah. Well, you know what the Lord said that mm -hmm. uh, wisdom shall increase, and the scriptures say that uh, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. So you know, the more we, the more we're in the spirit, the more angry we're gonna be. So, mm -hmm. This is obviously in righteousness, right, and in balance. But this is uh, that word condemned, and it says to give judgment against, That's right. to judge worthy of punishment right. by, one's, uh, by one's good example to render another's wickedness to more evident and serrationable. 
Censorable. Censorable. All right. All right. So, 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 so by our how we move, it condemns them because they say, why, why you guys, how you guys move like that, man? You know what I mean? So we never say nothing, right? We say, oh, yo, what you doing is wrong, and, and, and we we act, we walked in a way that we're supposed to be walking in, and that alone condemns them, right? They see that the man who's different, right? Finish it off. Can I get this for you real quick? Go on, go on, go on. One hit and that's it. This is uh, Wisdom of Psalm chapter 2, and uh, I'll just read verse 13. It says, He professes to have the knowledge of Yahweh, and he calleth himself the children of the Lord. Mm-hmm. He was made to reprove our thoughts, mm-hmm. to condemn us. That's right. He is grievous unto us, and even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. Mm-hmm. His ways are of another fashion. All right. So, so you see, I appreciate his brother right now. He says, really unto us. Right. Don't let Putin fool you by shaking those Africans' hands. Right? <laughs> <laughs> because Putin is an Edomite. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, his spirit is to, to be grieved. Yeah. He knows he knows. Yeah. You think he doesn't know? Yeah, of course. He knows. You know? <laughs> This is the other thing about Russia. Right? Hey, right? He's a good deceiver, man. God, he's a deceiver. He's a devil. That's right. Right? That's and, and you know the Russian icons there. You think he hasn't seen them? <laughs> I saw a video of him walking right past a bunch of them. Exactly. Right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So he's, yeah, he's a, he's a savior in that land. He's viewed as a prophet. prophet. So yeah, yeah. A false prophet, you know. Yep. Yeah. God. Yep. I'll just finish the last verse. It says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He is abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. And we, we, we say this at Kala Yehudi, right? From small hatters. Yeah. Right? So we, we know, so, 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 so they, they know. See, they, the most sites put it in their minds that they know, they know we're not, we're not really open. They know that. Yeah. Right? That's right. He pronounces the end of the just to be blessed. To be taken up with the, the UAPs and the UFOs. Right? right? That's a blessed thing, man. <laughs> Yeah, to have uh, eternal, to have eternal wealth in wisdom and health. God. You know, and maketh his bold that Yahweh is his father. That's right. God. Going back, it says here, uh, where was I again? Mal- um, it says it condemned the oh. world. Oh, yeah, yeah. 11 and 7. 11 and 7. Con. Last last part. Part. Con. Um, it says here, Let's reread it again. Okay. Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith, Noah being warned of God, Yahweh, of things not seen yet, but moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which mm-hmm. he condemned the world and right. became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Beautiful. So our heritage. In the East, like, wow. taking a man back to well, this heritage was not promised to him. Right, and something's becoming spiritual, so he can't take this. Mm-hmm. Right, God. but before our identity, right, which which which, which is not ours at, at, at the moment, like we're saying who we are, but the world, the world don't see us as, as um who the Lord made us to be, as Israelites. Right, because because of black people, man. Right, right. So mm-hmm. they're taking our heritage, and that was prophesied in you know, um, Jeremiah seventeen four. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's all good now, but you know, we're we're not coming back to our, to, to our nationality. Pop a name of the head of the father again through his son. That's right. Okay. And that's what makes this thing so powerful because our heritage is based, the heritage that we profess is literally based upon faith. Uh, right? Going all the way back to Adam, you know, the Lord always dealt with our forefathers based upon their gift of believing in him. Uh, and that's why they, you know, the scriptures talk about, because you can't fear something you don't believe in. You know? So, it, you know, once you have that gift of faith, Guess what comes along with it is uh, the fear of the Lord, which is where that wisdom comes comes in, and that comes by the way of judgment and His law, statute, and commandments. You know. Um, okay, so that was it for me. Is that it for you too, Kaza? All right, brothers, do you have any last precepts or statements? Yeah, yeah brother, brother, that was per- that was that was perfect precept that ended. But you started in the book of Ezra as well. Second Ezra is the tenth chapter. Right, and you left off, yeah, because you have to read it. Um, you have to continue 
and finish it up because it goes right into the point of this faith. Okay, so start at verse, just recite from verse 30, uh, 34. You left off at 33. Okay. So you mean second Ezra, right? That is correct. The uh, 10th. What chapter? Sorry, chapter one, excuse me. Yeah. And uh, 30, 34, to continue from 34, brother. You can read down to where? To the end. Yeah, the point is in the uh, end of the verse because uh, we ended there on, on faith. Just to let them know, but more importantly, it's going into the prophets, right? From Noah's line, from Adam to Noah's line, all the way down okay, to our time. It goes into it. Go ahead, brother. Take your time. Con, I'll read it and you can break it down. Okay, go ahead. It's, uh, Second Ezra chapter 1 and 34. And your children shall not be fruitful, for they have despised my commandment and done the thing that is evil before me. Your All husband. right, mm -hmm. going in towards the two thirds of, of Israel there. Go ahead. Your houses will I give to a people that shall come, which have not, which haven't heard of, which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me, to whom I have shown no signs, yet they shall do that I have commanded them. All right, going to those again uh, that has faith. Right, that believe in how they were led to that point and what they were shown. Yeah. Right, going into the elect. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say the the Gentile Israelites, because uh, they would, that falling away would happen where we would all become Israel uh, Gentiles and have uh, basically no no memory or uh, recollection of our custom and our belief and our heritage. You know, in the Lord. Yeah. Back to that Beautiful. knowledge. Beautiful. We were in that state. Yeah, they didn't know they were Israelites, but they were led by faith. That, that's what it was going. That's what it's going into. Just like how we were led back to the truth. Go ahead, brother. Beautiful point. It says, verse thirty-six. They have mm -hmm. seen no prophets, yet they have that. Yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. All right. Mm -hmm. I take to witness the grace of. The people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen them with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they they believe that to believe the thing that I say. And now, yeah, brother, yeah. Now I was going to just simply say, right, going into uh, fear is this treasure. Okay, <laughs> if if you're shown by faith, right, you're going to fear the Lord, and uh, yeah. Starting with uh, those who he brought back in and those who are leaving out, right? Strangers, simply put, and, um, you know, those who are pushing in the truth right now. So it's, it's also twofold leading into our time, right? And it says, and now, brother, behold, what glory see the people that come from the east unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Isaiah, Amos, and Micaiah, Joel, uh, Abadias, and Jonas, Nahum, Habakkuk, um, Sephanie, Sophanus, Agius, Zacharias, uh, Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Messengers, yeah, all the prophets, right? And you notice it started with Abraham in the 39th verse, right, of faith, right? So we have that great extension from from uh, from from Adam to Noah and then to Abraham, right? It's the same bloodline, the royal line right there. All right, I just wanted to bring that point out on that. And if you could, brother, go to uh, Leviticus 23 and 23 to the 24th verse in closing because yes we are in that time and the trumpet is blowing the trumpet is blowing blowing of the trumpets right and we're in the eve of that and so that's why this lesson also came out as well right and it said <laughs> we, we get it the lord i faith give us a double portion again double blessing and we believe so leviticus 23 and 23 to 24 
This is uh, Leviticus 23 and 23. And the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing the trumpets and holy convocation. Simply put, brother, I just wanted to say real quick, man. Uh, how, how many people, how many, how many Israelites, Israelites do we know, right? And they know that we're in the truth by faith. Okay, <laughs> have they called you? Just said that they want to keep this con uh, They want to keep this feast with you. Have any of them called you? And you said, hey, uh, I want to keep the feast with you, <laughs> right? So, right as any your brothers, anybody called you up and say, let's let's go keep this feast, blowing of the trumpets. <laughs> The answer is no, right? No. Nope. That's right. But the Lord said he called all. But guess what? Only a third of his who he has chosen is going to go by faith. Because we fear the Lord. Simply put, man. And this is a solemn feast. Read the last verse, brother, verse 24, because it is solemn. It is a solemn assembly. And you did mention, right, going into the great time of Jacob's trouble and not uh, walking with the Lord, man. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, I just read it. I just read it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. That's the point, brother. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I got. Con. Con. All right. So uh, with that, we're gonna close this lesson. Lord willingness is edifying to the hopeful left of the nation of Israel. Um, we're gonna close by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. All right, double honor to the apostles and the elders of great Muslim rule well and I've taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, peace and mercy to all for that, but also pushing this word in truth and sincerity to come to the peace of the earth, as well as uh, you little man and sisters. I believe you and your household, peace and mercy as well. I want to say, uh, all ball to you know, Babylon, so called great, and then uh, willing to the next live lesson. We say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Happy blowing the trumpets. Shalom. Shalom.